Mr. President, thank you for your time and for helping this vital session to take place. Last year, the CCJO brought an intervention to this Council highlighting the issues in Darfur, and we once again wish to bring to the Council's attention the mass killings, massacres, summary executions, rape and sexual violence, torture, abduction, looting of property and livestock, as well as deliberate destruction and torching of villages, which was noted almost three years ago in the International Commission of Inquiry into Darfur. As a Jewish organization concerned with international human rights, Darfur is of particular concern and importance. Innocent people are being killed daily in Darfur. The government of Sudan has made token gestures, but the effects on the ground are negligible. The Jewish people know what it is to suffer from systematic murder and inhumane treatment while the world stands silent on the sidelines. Following our experience of genocide and that of other minorities at the hands of the Nazis in the Second World War, the cry never again was heard echoing around the world. Tragically, it did happen in Rwanda and it does appear to be happening again in Darfur. At the UN Human Rights Council, we speak of elevating the importance of human rights and preventing crimes against humanity, such as those being committed in Darfur. Now is the time for immediate, decisive international action. We continue to see butchering of innocent individuals and the systematic use of rape and other sexual violence as weapons of war. This degrading practice is a clear violation of the rights of every woman and girl. This council needs to ensure that the group of experts be mandated to work in Sudan and the surrounding countries who are now involved in the conflict. They need to continue monitoring and applying pressure so as to bring about a peaceful resolution to this conflict. The CCJO implores that all parties work together towards the immediate implementation of recommendations by the GOE and the speedy deployment of a UN peacekeeping force in the Darfur region to bolster the efforts of the AU force. I leave you with the words of the Jewish sages, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? If I am only for myself, what am I? If not now, when? Thank you, Mr. President.